Hey, I'm Zeus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the insane CSGO investment that everyone missed. Sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later, and also supported by VLoot, a really cool site with tons of giveaways you can enter, and the link for both these things is in the pinned comment. Check them out. Now, over the past couple of years, there's been some CSGO items that have gotten a lot of attention. You know, your breakout cases, your Dragon Laws, your Kato 14s, and the reason they've gotten that attention is that they've made people a lot of money. Life-changing amounts of money sometimes, which understandably gets people pretty interested. But despite all the buzz, and frankly a massive renaissance in the CSGO skin scene, there's still been some investments that have gone a bit under the radar. And one of them is gloves. And this video is gonna try and figure out why they've gone up in price so much and why they kind of got overlooked. Now, gloves were initially released in November 2016 with the glove case. And honestly, there wasn't that much interest. And don't take it from me. Just look at what Valve has done with cases since the glove case was released. I mean, we've gotten 11 new cases in the meantime and only two of them have had gloves. And between the other nine, we've got nine new knives. So clearly that is where the money is when it comes to getting people to open up cases. And these poor things, well, they're basically playing second fiddle. The most recent case with gloves was the clutch case over two and a half years ago now. And honestly, it seems like Valve has almost abandoned the concept. However, when you think about it, it does kind of make sense. I mean, when I got people to vote on it, they overwhelmingly chose the butterfly knife as CSGO's top knife. and Let's be real, most people who play CSGO know what a butterfly knife is, but if you ask people what the most popular type of glove is in CSGO, well, even players who are into CSGO skins would probably struggle to answer. For whatever reason, these things just aren't as popular. But here's a reason they probably should get a bit more attention. So see this lovely pair of sports gloves Pandora's box? Exquisite, right? Well, three years ago, they were worth about $340. These days, they're worth so much they don't even sell on the Steam market anymore. They've gone up in price about 500%. And it's not just the Pandora's box either. So look at this set of sports gloves hedge maze. Now, they belong to a friend of mine called Ozzy Jacko, and he bought these things all the way back in 2017. And buying them back then was a pretty good move because over the last three years, they've gone up from about $230 to about $1,000, so roughly a 300% increase. And it's not just sports gloves either. See these Moto Gloves Spearmint? Well, over the past three years, they've gone up in price from about $240 to about $1,300, roughly a 450% increase. So these things have gotten a hell of a lot more expensive without that many people even really seeming to notice. But it gets even weirder than that because only certain gloves have been affected. So there's seven types of glove. Bloodhound gloves, Hydra gloves, driver gloves, hand wraps, motor gloves, specialist gloves, and sports gloves. But it's only the sports gloves, the specialist gloves, and the motor gloves that have gone up in price. And even then, it's only the gloves specifically from the glove case that have gone up in price. Almost all the gloves from the clutch case have stayed flat or even fallen a bit. The only exception are the sports gloves in the clutch case, which have gone up, uh, not heaps, but they have gone up a bit over the last year and a half. So there's some really weird stuff going on here and we're not even done yet because over the last year, the glove case has also increased in price and it's increased in price a lot. Now, that probably makes sense given some of the gloves in it have gotten a lot more expensive, but the case only really started going up in price about a year ago, even though it was discontinued around the start of 2019, which is two years ago now. So it's taken way, way longer for the price of this thing to move than it has for the gloves inside of it. And that doesn't really make sense. The price of these things should be directly connected, but clearly they're not. So I'm gonna try and explain what's going on here and also explain whether or not these things are a good investment going forward. So starting on the gloves themselves, it's obvious that the most desirable gloves in the glove case are the ones that have been going up in price. And going up in price really from the very beginning, there's a bit of a dip around 2018 due to the trade hold drama, but after that, it's all been business as usual. And I think what's happened here might actually be pretty simple. Basically, 
I think that gradually, over time, a lot of high-end collectors, the sort of people who own rubies and sapphires, have looked at gloves and thought, blimey, I can make my $5,000 knife that only exists in a video game look way better if I spend $2,000 on a set of gloves that also only exist in a video game. And they've gone out and bought themselves a banger set of gloves. And as the game grew throughout 2019 and more people joined, particularly people from China, there's been a really steady increase in demand for high-end gloves. But I don't think any of this registered with the average CSGO player. You see, normally, if a knife gets more expensive, people open more of the case, so there's more of that knife around, and therefore its price stops getting more expensive. But I don't think the average CSGO player realized that gloves were getting more expensive, so they didn't open any more glove cases in response. So the gloves stayed rare and their prices kept on going up. But importantly, it was only happening to really good gloves. The cheap gloves that us mere plebs have to use, the hand wraps, the bloodhound gloves, their prices didn't go anywhere, which might also help explain why the average player didn't really notice. But I'm only talking about the gloves in the glove case here. What about the clutch case? Well, it does kind of show the same thing. You see, while the glove case was discontinued two years ago, the clutch case is a normal drop to this very day. So there's a lot more of these things around. I mean, people just get given them when they play the game. So naturally, they get opened a lot more and the gloves are definitely cheaper as a result. But the best gloves in the case have still been increasing in price over time. Your vices, your amphibiouses, their price has been going up. So I think the same thing is happening. It's just at a smaller scale. And this also explains why the glove case took so long to go up in price because it took ages and ages for the average CSGO player to realize how expensive the gloves in them were. Now, when they did, it was stonks on. But because there's this disconnect between the average player and people who blow tens of thousands of dollars on skins, it took a while for people to realize it. Long story short, if you're investing in skins, pay attention to what big collectors are doing because it might allow you to get ahead of the curve. But where does this go in the future? Is it a good idea to buy gloves? Is it a good idea to buy glove cases? Is it a good idea to buy clutch cases? Well, I don't see Valve as being in too much of a rush to bring out another case with the gloves. I think they're making fat stacks at the moment, releasing new knives instead. And I don't see them changing a strategy that's making them stonky amounts of money. On the other hand though, it also seems like they're deliberately keeping the clutch case in the drop pool. They've had chances to remove it and they, they haven't. So I think they do want at least one case with gloves in the drop pool at all times. And that does mean we probably will get some more gloves at some point. However, I think these new gloves will be completely new finishes, so they generate extra hype and make Valve extra money. I, I don't think the old gloves are coming back. It's been too long. Valve generally aren't known for performing necromancy on their skins when something's gone, it typically stays gone, and I think these things are gone. And as a result, both the case and the gloves are probably gonna keep on getting more expensive. And as someone who's a fan of buying play skins that gradually go up in price, I think a high-end set of gloves is an excellent pick. Honestly, if you've got a choice between that and a knife, I would recommend the gloves. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciate it. And a big thank you to Skinport for sponsoring this channel. Skinport, formerly known as Skin Bay, it's the same site. All that's changed is the name, is a skins marketplace, and cash out site. It's safe, convenient, easy to use. It's got a super competitive sales fee of 5% if you put skinport.com in your username. A really, really low fee if you're looking to sell your skins. If you're looking to buy instead, it's got a ton of great deals with over 100,000 CSGO skins listed as well as easy to use deposit and withdrawal options. Awesome site. Check it out. Link is in the description. Anyway, that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.